It's the Kingdom Valley Kashmir Premier League Season 2. We're at game number 14. The Bark Stallions take on the Cotley Lions. A little bit earlier, the two captains were out in the middle with Marine Ekbal and the coin went up and as has become customary throughout this tournament, the team that wins the toss bowls first and in this case, it was the Stallions. The surface is a new one. It hasn't been played on uh, throughout season two of, of KPL. It looks a good one. All the surfaces have been good for batting. Yesterday we did have a little bit of turn, a little bit of inconsistent bounce, but this one should be right for the picking. Very closely knit. The Hawks at the top of the table. The Warriors with their victory yesterday take them up to five points as well. But one of these teams, if they can emerge victorious, we'll see them right in the mix. Anyone's game at the moment, the top four teams qualify for the playoffs. Yes, the one change is Umar Ben Yusuf is in and Hanif Azad is out. And we have to see at the batting lineup, Kuram Mandul. Safraz was brilliant the other night. Hassan Ali, we all know how destructive he can be. They've got a bit of their fair share in the balling. Seems like a very balanced side. Stallions winning the toss and uh, the, the ball first. This is their team. Uh, Kamran Lakmal, a little bit of worry for them, uh, but the rest of them are performing really well. Maksud has been really good, exceptional. Umar Amin looked good the other day. Bowlers have done a good job. So this is going to be a nine over contest. The power play will be three overs each side. And the bowlers, uh, two overs, one bowler can bowl. You can't bowl more than two overs. These are the conditions. The teams are losing uh, early wickets. That's one reason I can think that uh, the teams are not really posting those big totals. Amir Yamin would look to pick up early wickets uh, and do the same what he did previously. Big in swinger. That's what he does. Uh. Oh, he's got him. A little risk up front, and that's the end of a big player. Poor, very poor. Special selection of the shot was very poor. You know that he's bringing the ball in and the ball's going to swing it back to the stumps. You're asking for trouble. And that's a big wicket. Khurram Manzoor again failing in this game. And uh, Courtly Lions struggling in a very beginning. Two for one. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Play over the top if you can't go through. Oh, that was hit hard. Umar Amin was a fielder, normally a very good catcher, but this was hit really hard. Yeah, just nudged it uh, into the gap, although there has been a rain around, uh, but this will carry. New ball just went very quickly to the boundary. Good over. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Four more. Yeah, similar shot, but Khura uh, Manzu played. But this time, much better control from a youngster. Over ball, 30 gone. Nine, nine, the nine, league nine. globally. Nine, nine. Once again. Once again, it's gone all the way. Another really good shot. What about this one? What about this one? Another beautiful shot gone all the way. Big over for the Lions. It's 51 for one. Oh, it's been picked up. Inside edge onto the stumps. He's gaining confidence. Roman Rice. Rice using the change of pace here. A little bit slower. And that's worked for him. A little bit lucky for the batsman coming off the back leg. But right now, they'll take it any which way it comes. That's the end of Bin Yusuf.
for 19. That's been an entertaining one. The Lions 51 for two. Oh, he's got him. Variations and, of course, total control, Roman Reyes. Back-to-back wickets, Danish as he walks. Didn't he surprise Danish? Not only it was the Yorker length, but also the ball had pace. And Danish as he's beaten by the pace. Two in two for Roman Reyes. Again, we saw the ball leave the bat onto the pad and find the stumps. So the Lions now 51 for three. In the air, into the gap, boundary to start the over. He's gone high in the air, he's got a top edge, he's going to take some catching. The man in the deep calls for it and that's a good catch. He was swirling away from him, but he hasn't messed it up at all. Yeah, Amir Amin is the fielder. Touched it nicely. Camped under the ball. And he was able to grab that one. The moment he set off, it looked like he wanted to catch it. And he was able to steady himself there, get into a fairly good position, watch the ball right into the hands. Fantastic to see these sorts of catches being taken. Hassan Ali, the danger man, and the one the Lions were relying on to push on further. But it's not to be the case. That was 64 for four. That's hit him on the back leg. It's some bat. Probably missing leg, everything. Important is that the ball has crossed the boundary. Oh, he dealt with it quite nicely. Went a long way. Just the sound immediately when the ball left the bat. Nah, uh, it's good over. It's a good comeback after being hit for a big one. So, a single. Nine overs completed and what the Courtly Lions have managed is 86 for four. Hassan Ali did well. Wonderful one over. He hit three big ones, 37 of 20. And then down the order, everyone trying to pitch in have managed 86 as a total. For the Stallions, we've highlighted the key performers, none better than Ruman. He's 3 for 11 of two overs, and the maximum of two overs per bowler, that has been the case. And Amir Yamin, all round, I've got to look back on it and say that was a good performance. They did their job there, and they were particularly good in the last three overs. Park Stallions need 88 to win this match, and that's the DLS calculation at 9.78. Khuram had a tough uh, game last one where he couldn't really f find the right rhythm. Uh, and same goes for uh, Kamran Nakmal. He's uh, been really searching for the ball. He hasn't really hit the hit middle of the bat. And let's see if uh, Khuram can make it make it come back. First delivery and a wide one. Yeah, he's uh, 72 not out from the previous game. You can't ball there to him. And again, it won't be cut off. That's four more. Because Huram Shazad is already under the pump. Making room just to swing that bat and play it behind the square on the offside. Well, Sohebi is not going to spare you from that length. Oh. It's high in the air. You've got to catch that. It's Soheb Maksud, and he does. Now, that brings them back into the game to a certain extent. In fact, to a large extent. Just a miscue. The ball was there to disappear. Yeah, it was in the zone. Maybe the ball kept a little low. The bat sort of swerved in the hand and brilliantly taken in the cover. Now, that's a massive wicket. Can this wicket change the scenario, the game? So they've gone for 17. It's 22 for one. Kamran Akmal this time gets that opportunity. So he's got to take the lead role now of putting the ball away. And that's the 230th boundary here. 
And what Not about again. Two men on the onside, but the length, Sir Faraz is livid. The bowler knows exactly what he's doing wrong. With the spin around, experience around, that's going to be a six. He's so good against left arm spin, inside out shots over extra cover. That's Kamran Akmal's strength. Now that's better, much better. Into the gap. Not a big gap, remember that. Such a good player, Umar Amin. Paced it nicely. Some think that, uh, well, don't worry about thinking here because Kamran Nakmal smashed that one uh, over that mid wicket region. And again, a drive. He's a left arm spinner's nightmare. Kamran Akmal got boundary after boundary and a six in the over. 53 for one after four. Yeah, that's very good. That's very good. A little bit of touch as well. How good a pitch is this? Allowing the batsman to play with freedom. Just use the pace. If he hits, he's in trouble. If he hits, he's in trouble. And you're going to have a little look upstairs, but he might be in a spot of bother. Yeah, I can't run up to ask him, are you safe? He's not sure. Omar Amin is not sure. Yeah, this, this is out. This is out. This is out. Good bit of fielding. One stump to aim at. And Guru Manzur has hit them. And so the partnership will be broken. And it will be Omar Amin that will have to make his way off the ground. They needed that wicket. They desperately needed that wicket because it's been a doddle for uh, for the Stallions. Two down now for 59. Out. In the deep. Is there a twist? It's unlikely, but you just never know. wasn't a great delivery it was a case of batsman missing hitting it miss hitting it went straight to the fielder no mistake and they've been able to get rid of Kamran Akbal who was looking dangerous scored 37 it's 64 for three and he goes over extra cover for six wow that's a mighty hit that is a good shot. You need it to be uh, to just appreciate the speed that it left the bat at. And a fair distance back. Guys, again, there's a man back there, but it doesn't matter because when he hits them, they go out the ground. Short, high into the air. Here's an opportunity. If someone wants it, oh, just grabbed it. Just held on. Not quite timing it on this occasion, but those two big blows will see his team home. A bit high on the bat there, not out the middle this time. That's well watched by the youngster in the end. Never easy, no catch is easy. And under a bit of pressure, he has done very well there. So Saurar, some lusty blows, 17. And now the Stallions, 80 for four. gets into action takes advantage of that full toss making sure that goes into the gap one to win and that's it that'll do there is a man in the deep but just the single was required and so the stallions will win comfortably a good run chase they win by six wickets very clinical it required Cameron Akmal to play well which he did but you've got a feel for the Lions. Having won the toss and the match being shortened after two overs, they would not have known that that would be the case. So they'll go back and feel, was it necessarily a bad day in terms of their performance? I don't think so. 
but uh, credit to the stallion. A smooth sailing for the Bark Stallions. Kamran Nakmal contributing heavily up front. Swaib Maksud meeting a failure of sorts. He has set high standards for himself. Needless a run out of the captain Omar Omein, Amir Yamin and Hassan Raza making sure they get over the line comfortably. In terms of the lines, their bowling, it was always going to be tough. The situation, each bowler with maximum of two overs and they were run into a, a good stallion lineup with a bat Akmal leading the charge there. But success only for Ali and Shazad who picked up a wicket. Now uh, here's the evidence, confirmation that Mark Stallion's winning this game quite comfortably with six wickets to spare.